Right, I'm in the church of St. Dubricus of Porlock. I've just lit, lit candles for the family. And Zara, Jolene, Georgia, Duncan, and my sister Jude as well. So, um, I'll put some money in the box. There's nowhere to put it at the moment. Here we've got some effigies. I will look them up who they are. There's a knight here and his lady. Um, I can't quite read it without my glasses on, but um, I will add the information from this book when I do the video properly. Here's a nice um, Syria rose, or whatever you call it, that, the name that you... those pan, those panel in behind there, that's rather nice, isn't it? Yeah. I've had a very fulfilling day today, actually. The Exmoor Meter of the late Reverend James Thompson, Bishop of Bath and Wells, 1991 to 2001. It's nice, isn't it, with the candles? That's for my family. Some of who are, they need help. They need support. They need to sort themselves out somehow. Um, oh, there's another night squashed in the corner here and a, a little font, look. And who's this? Hello, you've got a shield as well. And a long sword. The Crusader. Well, we've got a Crusader. I've got Crusaders in my family. Yeah, quite a few of them. Fitzwalters declares. <sighs> the Crusader monument is an effigy of a 13th century knight in Spain armour, a soldier of the cross who may have been Sir Simon Fitz Rogers of the Manor of Porlock. This effig effigy is, because I, I haven't got my glasses on, described as the Crusader. Hi Crusader, I've got Crusaders in my family. I'll come back and take a load of pictures in a minute. First time I've seen one with such a nice shield look. And you're ready for action with your arm there as well. Very nice. I'm glad I managed to fit some of this in. We've got a nice cap for the font there. I've got to put some money in there. See what I've got in my pocket. Um, There we are, I just put some money in the box. There we go. I've bought a cup from the hardware store, a poor, poor little cup. I bought a tea towel and a couple of books. Yeah. Yeah, I like some of those um, little poems there. Yeah, so this is St. Dubricus. An ancient church. It feels old. Now I wonder where this takes us, everyone. Chapel of the High Cross. Please take care on the steps. Oh, this is good, isn't it? Oh, well, I can't make it when my bag is full with stuff. Oh, it's just a little chapel. I've been in one of these before. Ah, it's good, isn't it? 
I'm having a good first day, I'll tell you that. Very good first day. Oh yeah, I've got I've got some of this some of these type. I got them in when I was in Athens and uh, Israel Palestine. This sort of Greeky type images. Just in case my camera goes off, I'll turn off for a minute and I'll put it straight up back on. Carrying on with the video then, this is a little quiet prayer chapel in here. Um, some people that must have passed away recently, got little cards there, like you do. Now I've got to be careful going down these narrow steps. That's nice that. I went somewhere, I think it's Congressbury. Near Yatton, that church has got um, a little chapel like this. It's a good idea to have a very, very quiet area to go, isn't it? Oh, turn that off, Sheila. That's a nice image with the sun coming through there, isn't it? Oh. So this is Porlock, everyone. I've got to make it very clear because when I'm, I can't unload my videos straight away they can get a bit muddled up <sighs> They've got a nice night over there, that's amazing that night over there with the shield and everything Very Wow, look at this old machine. Some sort of um, thing for, was it part of a clock, do you think? Yes, ancient clock. It says a mother faced, struck the hour in the tenor hall. It was actually in use up to the time of Queen Victoria. In nine, um, looks like it's goes back to 1400 but the date is not quite certain well look at that then uh, so here we are the church of Saint Dubricus I don't know if you pronounce it like that I don't know if we can get in here because that takes you upstairs no look at the size of these walls look how wide they are and thick Right, I'll just wander down here. There's the candles I lit for my family there, for my children, for my sister Jude. There's a candle for each of my children there and their children, my grandchildren, for my sister Jude who died this year, for Zara who's having quite a hard time, and Georgia, and Jolene, and Duncan. They've all had quite a hectic year so far in 2018. Good stuff as well. Good stuff as well. <sighs> Elizabeth Frances Williams, wife of Lieutenant Colonel Edward Stephen Bruce Williams, the Rifle Brigade, and only daughter for Frances Edward Helfie Chadwick Healy, Baronet. <sighs> wow, what a long name, isn't it? This is one of this can join the other Somerset projects, you see. I haven't done the church for a while. Pulpit, small pulpit. I'm doing the video now in case anyone comes in. There's a very nice stained glass window I've noticed up there in the gallery. On the back wall, look. You can't quite see it, but. It's very bright. It might even be new. It might even be new. Couldn't get her up there, the belfry. It's oh, a big candle there, isn't it? The size of that. Oh. 
I've done a lot of walking today. A lot of walking along the coast to um, Porlock Weir. Yes, a lot of walking. I've enjoyed it though. It's been restful and peaceful. I would uh, reflect. I've got a lovely campsite I'm staying. And um, I'm hoping to do a nice big walk tomorrow as well. I've got to look out for where the bus stops, by the way. I just remembered that because I've got to get an early bus tomorrow. <sighs> like I said, I will look, look it all up about you all. Okay, I'm going to turn off now. Take some more pictures. Over and out.